right. Good morning. Yeah. Greetings. So welcome back. Feels like it's been a long weekend, but I know it's just been normal. Um, so what I want to go over today is talking about the next project, which is a magazine cover. Super exciting. Big fan of this project. And it will take us about eh, probably a little less than two weeks. And the nice part is the beginning is a lot of stuff we already know. How to take the background out of a picture um, and kind of set up including like a basic background behind something. And then maybe a week after, a few days less, then we're going to start talking about text and we're going to get more into text like the next few projects, which will be nice. Um, so these examples I have up here are the ones from last year, which are very exciting. Um, some of them are Photoshop documents. So you could see like they were probably really big files and that they're difficult to see. But we could still scroll through and see a lot of them. And as you're scrolling through, let's think about a few things. These were all 100% original made. They weren't like directly copied from a magazine. They're 100% original. So they took the photo, cut out the background, put their own background on it. And then they took this, like the name of the magazine. That's called The Masthead. And um, they added that back in. They changed the color if they wanted. And then they came up with all the text, all like whatever they wanted it to say. So as we look at it, what makes these magazine covers look really legit? The writing. Okay, so what about the writing? Um, I mean, I said the lighting. But I oh, guess, lighting. Sorry. Yeah, can you? Sorry. I guess can, the writing. Like, you can go into um, lighting. It's okay. I just totally misinterpreted. Uh, well, with the lighting, you see like the character like, pops out more. Okay. On the front. Okay. So the lighting helps probably the photo look even really legit. So they pop out more too. Good. Which one do you think has good lighting? Uh, that one in the top. Actually, the both of them on the left. Both on the left? Okay. Yeah, the okay. So, Which one was you, Charles? Here? Oh, this guy? Cool. Yeah, Which one, what? Okay, so he has great lighting too. Okay, so great lighting usually is connected to an awesome photo. So number one, they're finding really high quality photos, which usually isn't a hard time when you're looking up a celebrity or something like that. Okay, and since we're looking at these guys and we'll build off of lighting, like for the most part, how much of a person's body are you seeing on a front cover of a magazine? Like what percentage? Upper half. Okay, I think that's a fair. That's fair. I'd say upper half. And sometimes even like it's almost like school portrait style where you're like shoulders up, like Jenny Kim or like Lana Del Rey here, Adam Driver. Okay. Like if I were showing you perhaps hmm, an Olympian or something like that, how much of the body would you see usually? Hmm. Why would you see possibly a whole body for someone like an Olympian or an athlete? To show off like the entire scope of physique. Yeah, you're going to show off their physique because that's pretty much what they're known for, what they're doing with their body. Um, so those are important things we want to keep in mind. Awesome. Okay. Um, let's talk about just, I'm not really going to get too much into text today because that's days away in this assignment, but I want to talk about the masthead. So I'm going to spell that out for you because people always are like, what's that mean? So it's M-A-S-T head. Okay. And then you could pick any magazine of your choice that's school appropriate. Um, on the project outline, I gave you some ideas for magazines because I'm personally not a magazine reader. Like, I don't know a ton about, like, certain magazines. So it's handy to have this little outline here. Okay. So I gave you some categories here. If you're like, oh, I want to do a music or an entertainment magazine, uh, here's some options. You want to do a fashion one. You want to do pop culture, sports, health, things like that. So you have some lists here of magazines. Um, if you think of something else, as long as it's school appropriate, it's probably going to be okay. So you have some options there as well. Um, so for the first few days, we're only going to think about like the background, which we all know what a background is. The person, which we call the central image. And the masthead, which is that like logo at the top of the magazine. And the best part about the masthead is, is that once you figure out what magazine you want, it's pretty easy to find it. So I always pick Entertainment Weekly. 
feel like that's like pretty non-offensive magazine. So I typed in masthead entertainment weekly, and this is legit what I want you to do. I want you to look for like a file that will say the masthead, just as you see it. If you want to change the color later on, it's super easy. I promise you. Um, so you just need to save it so you have it and you'll be ready to assemble it on your magazine. Um, so your job today will be to save all of these things. Save your image as, and maybe you're going to make like a little file of your magazine pictures so you don't lose them. Sometimes I put them in my little photos, my pictures category. Okay. So there's three things we need to save today. We're going to save a masthead of our choice. And then you will need to decide, like, who do you want to put on your magazine? Um, also, I'm totally fine if it's like a group of people, like you wanted to pick a band or perhaps they're like teammates or something like that. It could be more than one body. That's totally allowed. Okay. Um, so, like, let's say I always use Jimmy Fallon because he's usually a safe choice. Um, I need images of Jimmy. So I'm going to save just two different photos just so I have a backup in case one is like poor quality or it's just not working out with like where I'm placing my text. So that's usually how I start off today. Make sure I have two different photos saved. Make sure I have a masthead saved. And at least you could start thinking about what you're going to do for your background um, and how you're going to set up the magazine. Oh, wrong one. Very cool. Okay. So do we have any questions coming to mind so far about the assignment ahead of us? Um, what's up? Yeah, is there any, like, uh, words? Uh, what's the uh, aspect ratio? Um, we're going to put it on an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. Yep, like printer size paper. And after we, if you want it printed, of course, um, I trim off, like, the white little margin so it looks like a serious magazine. I usually print a lot of them, and I like to hang these in the showcase because I think they're pretty nice. They look really legit and they get pretty fancy. Okay. Um, but again, we'll dive more into the new stuff with the text in a few days after we get this stuff straightened out. Okay. Um, if you have the time today, you can start to remove your background, which would be great too. Okay. So how about let's spend about 20 minutes finding two photos, finding a masthead of your choice, saving them to your computer, you could even upload them to Classroom. And then after that, I could talk a little bit about just like getting your Canvas set up. Fair enough? Excellent. Uh, what are the rules about So let's talk about how to start putting together the magazine. All stuff we know already. But just a little few reminders. So by accident, we don't make a super, super tiny magazine or some other common errors, which I avoid. Okay. Number one, when we go to make our magazine cover, it's going to be the size of a printer piece of paper. So that's going to be eight and a half by 11. So new file. And it's easier to just click print at the top and letters should be like the first one there. And we're going to hit create. So we're holding the letter the tall way, just like you would type an essay. So everything we do, we're going to make sure it lands on this piece of paper, okay? So the first thing, which I think is the easier one, let's do the masthead. What's up? Um, yeah, so I looked at some of the official uh, covers of the magazines that I'm doing. Uh-huh. The aspect ratio is different. I realize that, but for printing purposes, I usually keep it at this. Okay. If you want to keep yours at that, it's fine. I know it's not very different, right? Isn't it like 8 by 10 or something? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. No worries. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my masthead I saved earlier in my photos. Yours is probably already saved right in Chrome, so you could drag it over. So my masthead's right here. I'm going to open it up in its own little document. Okay. Well, I got lucky with this one. Mine's actually a PNG, so everything's been removed from the background. But actually, I still see some like white spots here, so I'm going to get rid of those so I don't mess anything up. Okay. Um, so we know lots of different selection tools. What selection tool would you use to help remove some of the background here? Quick select is a good one. You could use magic wand if it's all the same color for the most part. All of those will work out really well for you, which is nice. So um, I'm going to go in and 
you know, do the boring stuff. Get rid of the little spaces in between the letters and make this as transparent as I can. Oh, yeah. So there's always a little something left over that's annoying that you could help clean up a little bit. I'm not going to do all of it, but just to assume we got most of it done. Let's also say, like, I'm really sure I don't want to leave this black. Um, I can change it later. It's so easy to change then after we have all the pieces together. I'm going to show you how to do that later. If you're really set on doing it now, you could always, um, you could go in even just with your paint bucket and like click on each letter and change the color. But I'll review that again later too, if you're interested. Um, I'm not going to change my color right now. So once I realize that my background is removed and it's just my masthead alone, I'm going to drag it right into my magazine cover. And what am I going to do to make sure I could make this larger? Control T. Super, thank you. Control T. And I'm trying to keep it where I'm not stretching it out too much. I like to hold my shift key and it will probably stretch closely the majority of my page. And once I hit enter, it cleans it up pretty nicely. I keep it pretty close to the top of the page, but I want to always leave a little margin, like a little breathing room from the top to the sides, especially if we print it and I trim it with the paper cutter. Okay. Um, so that's step number one. Okay. Any questions about the mass set part? Super. Um, let me open up Jimmy Fallon and we're going to talk about this part that's not terribly different, but we can remove the background from him. So I think this is the only Jimmy I got at the moment. Now we know two different ways to remove backgrounds. One of them, we used like a selection tool and we deleted everything around it. What's the other option for removing a background? Kind of like what we did with superheroes, with the hybrids. What's that technique? You could use your mask too. So you have lots of options. Um, I'm going to remove the little padlock here by clicking on it. And there's lots of ways you could do it. We know we could use an eraser. And maybe I'll switch to like a soft eraser when I get around to the hair so it looks a little bit more natural like that. That's one option, but it tends to kind of lighten things too much. We talked about using our magic wand two minutes ago. Also a really great option too. Okay. Um, like we said before, if you want to use your mask, um, what we can do is we can start to select a little bit of an area maybe with my quick select. It's been really laggy. Super. I'll just start like that. Um, you can select an area and you can apply your mask. Who remembers how you do the mask? Um, the yep, the thing that looks like the Japanese flag. Good. And you're going to go in and you can start to remove the areas you want. Um, what I'm going to do instead is like use my quick select, I can save and select all of Jimmy and remove the area around him. So I want the Jimmy part to be seen. Just really need that quick select to show up. Forgive me for the delay. So here's Jimmy. Eh, most of them, even if you don't get all of them, don't worry about it. Super. And all the black stuff is the hidden so I could use a black paintbrush for when I'm ready to get rid of some of the other parts that I missed by hand. Of course, I'd zoom in, take my time, clean up, and all that fun stuff. We'll pretend I took all my time getting rid of all of those little details. Guys, are we looking up here? Thank you. Pretend I got rid of all the shadows. And then I could drag Jimmy and his little mask all the way over to my main document here. Control T. And I want to make sure he's not floating in space. So clearly he's cut off like a school picture. So I want to make sure that part's touching the bottom. And you are going to do a lot of tweaking as time goes on. So like the size you make right now isn't going to be perfect. Like you're probably going to shrink it down. You're probably going to make it bigger and uh, all those things. So I'll play some like that for now. And a lot of times with the magazine, they tend to like sit in front of the masthead or you could even push them down for now. But the nice part is you're probably going to change this a bunch of times before we do anything. So at this point, we have about like 15 minutes left in the period. Do you have any questions so far? Okay. What I want you to do 
is make sure you open up this new document, you remove the background of your masthead and your person, and we're gonna place them on this document and just save it. And you could just upload it to Classroom and just let it sit there. And that's a good place for us to start today. Any questions so far? Nope. All right, yeah, old stuff. <laughs>